What's up guys? Um, I've acquired uh, a few uh, Spyderco salt knives and I thought it'd be cool to do a comparison of these three that I, that I have. Um, this is the Spidey Chef, um, Spyderco Caribbean, and the Spyderco Siren. And uh, I just kind of had some categories that I wanted to uh, compare them to and uh, see which one I, I recommend all three of them, but which one actually won out in all the categories that I had for them. So the first one is blade, uh, blade steel. So they all have the same blade steel, so they're, they're, tied, they're tied for that one. Um, blade shape, now this is uh, very subjective, um, but these two are my favorite uh, shape. Uh, the the um, sheep's foot and kind of just the drop point. This blade is okay, but um, I find these two more useful. So point for the Caribbean and Siren on that one. Um, the deployment. So I have these two tied for deployment, and I like the Spidey Chef deployment. Um, the only reason that the other two have uh, a point and this one doesn't is because these ones offer mu multiple deployment methods. So you can not only use the spider hole like you can the Spidey Chef, but you can also uh, open it with the um, compression lock. And the same with uh, the siren. You can close it with the back lock and you can open it with the dump stud. So multiple deployment options. So these two get a point for that. Action, all three of them are riding on phosphor bronze washers and they all have amazing, have great actions. So I actually tied them all three for the action. So they all have great action. Um, lock, lock engagement and disengagement, they all, um, also get a point for that. Uh, now, if you want to count for lock strength, it would go in this order. Um, uh, weakest to strongest lock. So the back lock, you know, is the one of the strongest locks. Compression is very strong, and then uh, and then the frame lock is pretty good, but it's it wouldn't hold up uh, as good as these, and especially not the back lock. Um, value. So each of these, uh, I'll put the prices for each of these up, but they're in order from expensive to least expensive. expensive. Um, but this is only $20 more than this, and it comes with some extra features, like this intricate milling on the handle. Um, so that's extra time, and the actual internal internals are milled in such a way that they nest those LC 200N liners. It also comes with a titanium clip. So all those things add up to me to be $20 more than this, if not more, and it's only $20 more. So the value has to go to the Caribbean for most value uh, for the folder. Ergos, um, all of them are great. I like these two better than the sleep, than the uh, Spidey Chef. So, out of these two, I prefer the Sirens Ergos the best. Um, this was so close uh, between these two. This, these Ergos are great. This is it in my hand. The jimping is perfect, and it feels really good in your hand. Um, it actually looks like it's a bigger knife than the Siren, but the Siren is a tiny bit bigger. But the Siren handle doesn't feel as big. So I think that's due to that guard, but that guard makes it feel re really good in hand. So I give the win to the siren on the Ergos. Pocket clip. Um, I'm a fan of the wire clip on both the Spidey Chef and the siren. Um, I will be putting a deep carry on this probably, but I just think it's really cool that it had titanium. I've never seen a spoon titanium clip before from Spyderco, so it's very unique. But I actually prefer the Spidey, the Spidey uh, Chef's clip better because it hides the knife more 
than the siren. That's the only it's the only reason that uh, the Spidey Chef beat beat out in the pocket clip area. So um, there's a point for the Spidey Chef. And the weight, the last category was the weight. So um, this is the heaviest knife here. I'll put the weights for all of them on. So this is the heaviest, um, followed by this one. So that's pretty remarkable that you can have a titanium frame lock that is going to be lighter than the G10 with liners. So I think it has to do with uh, blade stock. So that it is a thicker blade stock. So that probably gives it more weight. So the wind goes to the siren on that one. It's light, lightweight um, with these linerless G10s. Uh, so and uh, so the overall winner, guys, as you might have guessed if you were keeping score, is the siren, followed by close second of the Caribbean. So I haven't reviewed this knife, but I'm just I just love this knife. Like I said, for the value, it wins uh, hands down. It's a great knife. Very happy with this. And I, I do love the Spidey Chef. Um, it's just uh, compared to these these guys, I like these guys a little bit more than the Spidey Chef. So um, there it is. The new Siren takes the win. There we go. Still breaking it in, so it's still trying to get flickable. Um, yeah, but like I said, multiple, uh, there we go. It's still going to take some time to break in. That's all I have, guys. Hope you have a good one. See you in the next one.